you know what? I went out and officially got this source, its own diversity advisor and a human rights consultant. <laughs> Kathy Shadel now wears both of those official hats. <laughs> she makes uh -oh. almost <laughs> as much as our volunteer in interns do. Mm -hmm. Kathy Shadel, you're a blogger at fivefeetoffury.com, but you're also our sh show's diversity expert oh, and tolerance expert. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm not even joking around because you know what? I think that the people who claim to be out about tolerance today are the most intolerant. The people who claim to be about diversity today are the most bigoted. And, Absolutely. and I'm not just saying that to be contrarian. Let's talk about the Toronto District School Board mm -hmm. saying that only whites can be racist. That w I mean, tell me a little bit about that, and we're going to show some visuals in a second, but introduce the subject for sure. me. Sure. Well, there's a resource online that is recommended to all the teachers at the Toronto District School Board. That's the biggest school board in Canada. Exactly. And it's about teaching human rights after 9-11. So right there, boom. Right. It, I mean, that sort of is your... your uh, warning light that this is yeah. going to be a politically correct document. And it really is a politically correct document because, uh, among other things, the two most uh, re uh, frequently cited sources in there are the CBC, and children are told that they're going to see CBC coverage of 9-11, and I think a lot of us remember how anti-American that was. Oh, it's grotesque. Secondly, the students are supposed to read from uh, some resources from Human Rights Watch, who got $100 million from George Soros last year. An so. anti-Israel propaganda Absolutely. group. Absolutely. So we, right there, you know that if it's the CBC, it's pro-Taliban, oh, yeah. it's uh, pro-Omar Khadr, it's pro Harar, it's anti-forces. It's anti-American. It, it was the number one media outlet that slandered our troops, called them torturers or war criminals. Right. And Human Rights Watch is a left-wing outfit funded by George Soros that's anti-Israel. Completely. So, so, so we know where we're coming from. We've got a few uh, images mm -hmm. from this document. I'd like to show them on the screen now. Okay. And maybe we can just hold on those key paragraphs. Can we, sh can we see some of these images? Uh, th this is taken from the document. So, so this is the cover. This is what every teacher in grades 7 to 12 in Toronto. And let's go to one paragraph. Let's pull out the first paragraph there. I think it's called racism. Can we see the first? Yep. Hold right there. While people in different contexts can experience prejudice or discrimination, in North America, it's based on an ideology of the superiority of the white race. So basically, we are being taught mm -hmm. that whites, that white superiority is the only racism, pretty yes, much. Yes, only white Trump. people can be racist. Now, is that true? You're my diversity <laughs> consultant. <laughs> That's right. I'm told by the CBC Human Rights Watch and now the Toronto District School That's Board. That's what it says. Now, first of all, let me ask you this. Is Barack Obama, his mom is white and his dad is black, can he be a white supremacist? Or how, how white do you have to be? Like, does so a Jew count? I'm a Jew. I know. Does a Jew get to be white? It's it's hard to say these days who, I, you know, it's all about how you identify. If someone's uh, Arab, are they white or just white-ish? Oh, I think they consider themselves white, <laughs> but a lot of people wouldn't, you see, so it's, it's, this is so confusing. it's very this confusing. This is why you're here to help me out. Right? Well, one thing I would suggest for, uh, is that everyone who works at the Toronto School Board should get a copy of a new book by Ying Ma, and it's called Chinese Girl in the Ghetto. And it's about her years attending the Los Angeles School uh, programs at elementary and high school where she was racially harassed every day by black and Hispanic students so clearly they didn't get the message that only white people can be racist and the hmm. Toronto School Board might want to check this I gotta out. I got to get a swatch of colors like you find exactly. at a paint store or something just because I need to know how to categorize yeah. people. Toronto School Board makes me do it. Okay, can we take one more clip and then I, I want to talk to you about the Mosqueteria. Yes. So let's go to one more outtake here. Okay, slow down. Hus Islamophobia, hostility and contempt towards the, oh, can we see that? The practitioners and religious practices of Islam. In Western media, Muslims, the name given to followers of Islam, are often represented as terrorists or fundamentalists with little understanding of Islam, uh, its complexities, or the many practices and interpretations. Okay, you know, that just sounds like a, a lot of baffle gap. Mm -hmm. To me, Islamophobia means being afraid of Islam, and I read the Koran. It's a terrifying <laughs> document. I think right. you're supposed to be yeah. uh, afraid of, of the Koran. Well, wh what's your comment on that, uh, on that part? Well, that's a kind of scary, as you say, because the idea that you must have a phobia or mental illness to have a rational fear against uh, people who fly planes into buildings, that's just, uh, that's just crazy talk in my opinion. Why does everything have to be a phobia? Uh, can't any of these children be taught that perhaps there is a rational fear that there are people who want to blow up buildings? Yeah, and I don't think, I don't think it's being anti-Muslim no. to, be to be afraid of Muslim terrorists. Now there's one more thing I want to shift gears. I sure. want to show a photo now. Okay. And this was a photo that was broken on blazingkaffer.com. This was about the, uh, a, a public school. Can we show the photo? A public school in Toronto 
three rows here. Boys at the front, girls in the middle, and girls with their periods in the back. We only have about 30 mm -hmm. seconds. You're my diversity counselor. Right. You're my human rights advisor. Tell me about having gender apartheid in public schools in Toronto. Well, my question is, are there menstruation inspectors on site uh, at the Toronto uh, at Toronto public yeah, because schools? The, it's a little strange to yeah, me. Yeah, the imams say girls with your, having your period yeah, maybe the back. That's checking that really, out, or are they curvy. looking? Or, really yeah, it's curvy. a little uh, strange to me. I don't know how those young girls feel about it, but I know that most women I've talked to, left and right, are pretty outraged about this. It's uh, it's stuff that Margaret Atwood warned us about, but she's been strangely silent because it's a, not about Christians. Yeah, she wrote that book, A Handmaid's yeah. Tale. You know, it's coming true here. We'll, we'll try and get her on the show. I don't yeah. think she likes to answer <laughs> questions about radical Islam. No. Anyhow, folks, uh, listen, we've been talking to our, our favorite commentator, Kathy Shadle. She blogs at Five Feet of Fury. She is now my show's official diversity consultant. And uh, you better listen to what she has to say or you'll get hit with the human rights complaint. Hey, coming up next, 